Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the derivatives of the inverse trigonometric functions. So there are a couple formulas that are extremely useful in Calculus 2. The first one says if you take the derivative with respect to x, so d dx, of the arc sine of x, this is equal to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So super, super important formula uh, for calculus two. And the good news is that once you memorize this one, the one for arc cosine is super easy to remember. So ddx of arc cosine is pretty much the same, except it has a negative sign. So it makes it really, really easy to memorize. So totally worth knowing. The other really, really important formula, and then we'll do some problems, is the derivative with respect to x of, believe it or not, arc tangent of x. So arc tangent of x. And this one's actually probably more important than the other ones. Uh, it's 1 over 1 plus x squared. And once you memorize this one, again, it's very easy to memorize the one for arc cotangent. So the derivative of arc cotangent of x, well, this is simply negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. So these are the most important formulas uh, for the inverse uh, trigonometric uh, functions. Let's go ahead and do some simple examples of computing derivatives. So ex means example, and we'll find the derivative. So find the derivative. Okay, so let's see, part A. Let's look at f of x equals uh, arc tangent, arc tangent of, say, uh, 7x. So arc tangent of 7x. We want to find the derivative of this function. So all we have to do is use the formula. So let's go ahead and do it. So f prime of x. So the derivative of arc tan is 1 over 1 plus x squared. So here it's 7x, so it'll be 1 over 1 plus, and then parentheses, 7x quantity squared, times the derivative of the inside function, right? We have to use the chain rule. So the derivative of 7x is 7, right? So again, it's 1 over 1 plus x squared. This whole thing here is your x. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. So this is equal to 7 over 1 plus, squaring this, you square the 7, you get 49, square the x, you get x squared. Boom, we're doing some calculus too. So that is the final answer. All right, let's do another one. Let's do another one. I'll, I'll squeeze it in up here. So b, uh, how about uh, f of x? f of x equals uh, arc sine. Let's mix it up here. Arc sine of e, ooh, let's go nuts, e to the 3x, let's make it harder, arc sine of e to the 3x, why not, right? We can do whatever we want as long as we do it right. So f prime of x, f prime of x. So the derivative of arc sine is up here. It's 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So this is your x. So it's 1 over the square root of 1 minus, and then it's e to the 3x squared times the derivative of the inside function. So your inside function here is e to the 3x. Well, the derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So here it's e to the 3x times the derivative of the inside function. The derivative of the inside function is 3. So it's like a double chain rule, right? So again, the derivative of arc sine is 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So here, this is our x. Right? And then we multiply by the derivative of the inside. But the inside function is e to the 3x. So its derivative is e to the 3x times the derivative of 3x, which is 3. So it's like a double chain rule. Let's clean this up. This can stay upstairs. We can write it as 3e to the 3x. Then on the bottom, we have the square root of 1 minus, and then 2 times 3x is 6x. Right? You multiply those, and that is the final answer. So. Um, I think that's good for now. In the videos that follow, you'll have tons of examples of 
more of these problems. I hope this video uh, has been helpful. That's it.